I went to college here in Trinity College and I studied a very broad degree in physics and chemistry. But what really made me interested in science is the fact that it offered so much. Um, I know that might sound cliche, but science really does allow uh, you to express yourself creativity, uh, with uh, great creativity um, and it allows you to develop skills that are, are, are so important in so many aspects of your life. Like you can find out things uh, that maybe only a tiny percentage of the world's population might have ever even thought about and you could be the one person that maybe pushes out science a little bit further. Tomorrow's world is never going to be defined by an accountant or by a solicitor. They deal with the now, but the scientist deals with the, the possibilities. My own job has uh, two major aspects, so I have to teach um, and I have to inspire young people to stay in science, to be good at science and to get the best possible mark. The opposite, the opposite side to that coin is my own research, which, um, which at the moment is uh, looking at nanotechnology and this is the, uh, the science of the very, very small. I, I wanted to do something perhaps that was, you know, a little wacky and a, I suppose a little cool. Um, Maybe I shouldn't use that word when you're talking about subjects you pick in physics, but uh, it, like, it certainly was the, kind of the, new, the new kid on the block and the professors that were working in it in physics were, were the, the ones that were kind of more innovative and I, I thought, yeah, yeah, maybe I could learn a little bit from working with those people. Like, science doesn't put you in a box. Uh, what it does is it arms you and then it allows you to connect with all these other people that are in their own separate little areas but it allows you to develop connections with them, to learn from them, and for their work to influence yours, and hopefully for yours to influence theirs. Science is never about the individual, it's always about the team. And that's, that's, that's a thing of the past, that people have this perception about these, these great minds of science, uh, of science. That's something that happened in the 16th and 17th century. Now it's all about research in teams, research in groups, where you get people together that have different strengths, that complement your own, so that together you can make something different.